This is David. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an identity provider for to provide authentication for your app service in Azure. I've created a web app, it's a simple node application, and I've deployed this to an Azure app service. It's called GCast Web App. Here's the URL. Let's click on that and see. Pretty simple. Um, but it's anonymous. No, anybody can access this right now. It's very public. If I want to set up some authentication, and I go down to the authentication link here of my app service. You notice there's nothing listed here, just a button that says Add Identity Provider. I'll click on that. And I have options of various identity providers. Microsoft, which will use the Active Directory and Microsoft accounts within Azure. Uh, and these third-party ones like Apple and Facebook and GitHub. If I want to use those, I actually have to register with them. So they know that I'm going to send requests to authenticate users against their service. But I'm just going to specify Microsoft here. I've got some op op options here. I'm going to create a brand new app registration service. Not going to update existing one, the name. I'll just leave it the same as the name of the app service. And down here, this is significant. Do I want just only this single tenant? And that might be fine. I'm going to specify, or do I want mul any multiple? Azure tenants, do I want to have uh, Outlook.com accounts and uh, Hotmail accounts and things like that, Live, Live.com accounts? Uh, or do I want to do both, both Azure AD and personal Microsoft accounts? I'm going to select that one right here. It's got a little bit of flexibility. And then I will require authentication. And this is just the, the HTTP code that will return if, uh, if authentication fails. Click on Add. It will register this application with my Active Directory tenant. It will create something called an application registration. And there it's done. I can actually see this application registration if I open another tab and navigate to the portal and go down here to Azure Active Directory. Underneath Azure Active Directory is App Registrations. It should be listed here. These are the ones that I own. But on all applications would be really hard to find. I can filter with this list. Just owned applications. These are mine, ones that I've created. And it's in here somewhere, but to make it even easier, I can either search for it by typing in here or click on created on. And that sorts it first in uh, ascending date order and then in descending date order. So one that I just created is right here. I can open that up and see some of the details of this application registration. One thing worth pointing out is that there are some application rules that you can create, and there's some built-in rules, one of which is a, uh, an owner. You notice that I am an owner here, and as an owner, I have all kinds of rights to this application. And because I'm logged in as this email address here, I can still access this. It'll ask me for it to approve that, and log in, and there it is. I can still access that because I'm logged in as the owner. Now, if I want to give someone else access to this application, I can do so by adding them inside of the app service as an access control blade. And in here, I can grant access. If I look at my access, view my access, I have pretty high access here, but I want to give others access to it then I will grant access to this research by adding a role assignment. And typically what you want to do is the reader is the people that are going to interact with this web application contributor. They want to actually uh, manage resources and deploy things to it. But reader is a pretty common one. So I'll select reader and then I'll click on members here. And from this, there right now there are no members. I could select a member. And anybody that's in the Active Directory, even guest accounts, like. I have a Hotmail account right here. And I can select that and make this Hotmail account a reader as well. Put a view and assign. View and assign. And now what I can do is log in with that Hotmail account and get permission as well. In order to show that, I'll open up an a new window. I've actually got a profile set up already in Edge. Click on this, and rather than using my Microsoft.com account, I'll 
is my Hotmail account right here. And I'll navigate to exactly the same URL, which is right here. So I'll just copy this URL and paste it into this where I'm logged in with my Hotmail account. And now it lets me access this. It probably has cached my password. But if not, it will prompt me for a password. And now my Hotmail account as well has access to this. So to grant other users access, you'll want to add them to the reader role of your application. In this video, I've shown you how to configure an identity provider for an Azure app service, and I've used the example of an Azure AD identity provider. This is David. Thank you for watching.